recording. Okay, today I'm going to talk about locust swarm. Um, and ro locust swarm is one of the testaments in the Bible. So uh, before I begin, uh, I'll, I'll read a part of the description of the uh, devastating, devastating, devastating locust swarm in the Bible. Okay, so for they covered the face of the whole land so that the land was darkened. And they ate all the plants in the land and all the fruit of the trees which the tail had left. Okay, so, um, and after the, after two millennia, they came back. Okay, so today I'm going, uh, I'm going to tell you three things about uh, locust swarm, swarm. Okay, first uh, I'm going to tell you why and how a lo locust form a swarm. And secondly, uh, I'm going to tell you guys the severity of the locust swarm. And uh, lastly, um, I'm going to tell you guys uh, the possible solution of the problem. So, uh, normally, uh, these grasshoppers are uh, sol solitary insects that rarely gang up with the, the other grasshoppers, uh, except uh, in a few like, mating seasons. Okay? Then, what makes this grasshopper, green grasshopper, uh, turn into brown, uh, crop chomping, crop chomping clouds of swarming, swarming locusts? Okay, so according to a study uh, published in January 2009 in Science, uh, serotonin, a compound that sends. Persist between nerve cells and affect everything from sleep to aggressive humans. Uh, I can't do it. What are you doing? Um, you have to finish your speech. Okay. Can I do it again? No. Uh, according, according to a research, uh, pu published 2000, in January 2009 in Science, uh, serotonin, a compound that sends imperceps, uh, imperceps uh, between nerve cells, um, nerve cells and affects everything between, uh, from sleep to aggression in humans. Sorry. 